Okay guys, so I'm actually going to attempt The Walking Dead again. Now, I have done it before, I did up to episode 4 and I never started 5. And I thought I'd restart the whole thing because they've announced the 400, damn it, it's 400 miles or something like that. Uh, it's the new one that's coming out, the new, the second season of the game. So I thought, well I'm going to restart it, then that way I can have every episode on my channel as opposed to... Uh, live streaming a part of it which I did miss uh, episode 4 out because I streamed it and I forgot to save it so I couldn't upload it so I'm gonna replay the thing uh, the, the whole game and we'll see what happens and how I adapt it from there that was just a recording test okay so we're on the bottom and episode 1 so I'm gonna try and like keep the original choices that I made in the game and of course the game will be on the highest graphics now as opposed to the lowest or medium. I can't remember what I was on. Drinking that juice. The Walking Dead. Now I actually got the idea to start playing this game again because I got fucking addicted to watching the, uh, the TV show recently. And I thought, oh, I definitely need to finish the game. Apart from that, I've been told by so many people that it's a great ending. And I haven't seen the ending at all. And it, it's sort of a buzzkill. Look at the graphics. I love the art style of this game. I don't think there's a, a thing I don't like about this game. Ugly old man. Now, I'll try and be quiet during the uh, talking. But there is subtitles in case I don't. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. You know what they say about reckoning? I forgot the talking choices. I don't, but I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Hmm. This is. I actually can't remember anything about this. Uh, you're from Macon, then, yeah. You're from Macon, then. Yep, came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? Touchy subject, old man. You wanna know how I see it? Sure. Hmm. And you shut your face. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <laughs> Tempted to say fuck you. <sighs> Rejected. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fellow. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Officers are available for him coming to you once then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man. Man? <laughs> Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. 
think he actually believed okay. in himself. This is going too long without me speaking, so fuck it, I'll just talk whenever the hell show. I want to. People up and There's fucking subtitles, you can read it. Life is over. Oh, I it's got a another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Oh, shit. This other yeah. <laughs> I just like it was like, oh shit, and then it crashes. I'm going to uh, turn down the sound because I just got fucking deaf in there. There we go. I might be a bit better. It's the bombies. The walkers. Damn, he's still getting eaten. Poor guy. So one thing I never really liked about zombie films. Well, zombies in general, I mean, imagine getting eaten alive. But I have to say, zombie films are my favourite films of all time. There's just something about it being plausible. Hey, hey, officer! That are a zombie right? outbreak can happen, and the fact that Why the hell did he it could be so that? widespread and they're so slow moving, officer? but they wipe out everyone. It's I just love them. They're so good movies, and there's not been a good one for a while lately. Which uh, is somewhat depressed. I mean, you've you've got Left for Dead movies, but they're they're infected movies. I mean, since Twenty Eight Days Later, which I haven't seen that film. I've seen weeks later, but not days later. So uh, I guess I'm gonna start start watching them. If you guys know any good zombie movies, like, you could uh, tell me in the comment section. That's if you care. I've seen Dawn of the Dead, the original and the remake. The original is by far so much better. Ah, uh, fuck my leg. Can't wait till we see, we see my favourite character, The Walking Dead, so far. I'm just gonna casually yawn, because why the fuck not? Oop, I'm dropping down on one knee. The officer's shotgun is over there. Well, no shit. Can I pick it up? Yeah, it won't let me know. That's good. Looks empty. Yes, we have a shell. Why are you putting It'll it down? Easier to carry with these cuffs off. Oh, for fuck's sake. I oh, it's pretty funny actually. When uh, I try and reach the keys, it's just what he does with his hands. Been yawning all fucking day, and I'm still yawning yet. Eh, uh, like this. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> It's just fucking brilliant. This is probably one of the, uh, if not the best, series of games, Telltale Games, came out with. I mean, they came out with Back to Future, which was uh, pretty shit. Uh, but I, I do have a lot of the Telltale Games. Oh my god, jump scare! So, I might end up doing something on those. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not that fond of story driven games. I like The Walking Dead because it was a good TV series as well. I've not actually read the comics before, so never much of a comic reader. Hurry, the zombies right there. Don't make me do this. Ah, fucking Dukin. I wonder if it's actually possible that you can miss it, miss that shot. And now all the other walkers will be coming. Yeah. Yeah, Clementine. Help! Go get someone. There, there's been a shooting. Go.
god, I love this game. Uh, it was kind of depressing when they, they revealed that there's going to be a Walking Dead game coming out. And uh, I was like, oh, it's going to be shit. I just had the feeling. And then they brought it out and it was Survival Instincts, I think it was called. The, uh, the one about Merle. And it was fucking shit. Now I reckon Walking Dead would be a good game. As like a zombie survival game. If done well. Okay. That's even loud for me. Fuck's sake. There we go. Voice is the only one I need to have a bit louder. If I do go silent for a while, it's majority, like, the, the majority chance is me sleeping. Eh, uh, yawning, not sleeping. What dumbass. Heats up my arse, so just fucking ignore it. And the walkers just walk away. Other thing I wanted to actually talk about is, eh... Uh, the E3 event. Now I don't know when it will get uploaded, but the uh, the event was just yesterday, Anybody? meaning the 10th of June, and uh, it, it was actually quite funny because during the Xbox One, I watched the the whole of the Xbox conference, and uh, I I was really disappointed because I I I used to be an Xbox fanboy. It was like, oh my god, Xbox is the best, and. Uh, Seeing how the Xbox One is turning out in, so oh, when was it? Was it May? The with their press conference, it was really disappointing. And then with the E3 event, there was Coming nothing in. that jumped Your out to me okay? that oh, you have to buy the Xbox One. It's amazing for this. Uh, the smart glass feature just reminded me of the Wii U, in a way. You know, with the tablet as a second screen, Hello? and. Uh, then I watched the PS4 one, and I was blown away. It is ridiculous. It looks amazing. I, and in my opinion, it, it seemed the PS4 shot all over uh, Xbox. But I mean, it, there's got to be some sort of diff change between now and November, seeing as they got shot on. Ah, oh, fucking clots. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. Don't drink that. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 9-1-1. We love you. Now, I said this the we first time I played. What kids about, we well, from the age of, like, seven up isn't told the number for the emergency services? I mean, it was mentioned at primary school quite regularly for us. Daddy? And it was mentioned at huh? school as well, uh, at home. Hello? You need to be quiet. Dun dun dun. I'm not a monster. Good. I love Clem. She's such a great character. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi. But it is kind of dark with the way Walk Dead does it, and not a lot of uh, Where are your parents? zombie things do it and show how the kids survive and the adjust are. to the apocalypse, so the, the zombie outbreak in general. I'm outside in my tree house. Which uh, is surprising That's that not a lot of them have done it. 
and it shows you what the kids have to go through. And we'll see that develop with Clem like further on in it, and you see that happen with Carl in The Walking Dead. Ah, it's a baby, it's a... Oh, no. It's alright, John, I won't say this again. No, oh, he's going to slip in the board again. Fucking it. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's still funny yet. Yes, she jumped forward at me and I kicked her in the pus. Fuck me, man. He is such a fucking moron. Q, 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 E. How about a headache? How about some makeover? Facial construction. Headbanger. That one was just for shits and giggles. So yeah, my puns. Enjoy them. Enjoy them all. I tried to think of the best ones I could come up with on the spot, and I don't think I did Man. too bad. I apologise for the terrible puns. Did you kill it? Yeah. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. Oh shit, I forgot you have to be careful about what you say. All by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Okay. One or two. Uh, I do know there's a difference, but I can't remember. Let's go for the top one, we fuck need it. To find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. There we go. Let's go. Stay close to me. I got my his legs a bit better now. I mean, I suppose in hindsight, he's limping now. I was going to say, in hindsight, it could be adrenaline. Because that means you, you don't feel the pain as well. That, that makes it. Uh, so, I mean, that could be it. Right, let me walk. Or limp. Really slowly. Come on, Clementine, lead the way. I think it should be honest to Herschel as well. Man. I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. Mama. This sucks. Well, it's hot dish night. Of course, you even think of a hot dish. What's the matter? Day. Should I stay? What? Or should I go? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Gotta be good to Clementine. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! <laughs> we're not gonna hurt you. Don't eat us. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. <laughs> How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and not down my to daughter. my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Eh, uh, a neighbor. A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. Fuck it. I may have chosen what the wrong one. Who cares? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Lee, quick. Let's go. Is this another cue? 
No, just that quickie. Guy with a fucked up leg pushed a better than that guy there. And Dan Sean, that's ridiculous. Yes, Clem. Get in the car. Boom, spin like mad. What are you of those guys? Neighbors, too? Well, then. God, the art style is so fucking good in this game. Can't wait until season two. Oh, goody, we guess he fucking duck. God damn it. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Yep, goodbye, chap. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Ah! Backing down the way, things have Father and son late, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then. Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Go on, Clem. Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so Oh, you hurts like a bitch. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Yep, that's good. Oh, and future warning, there's Let's a lot a of puns that I will be yeah. uh, doing this throughout the whole series. Hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Yes, Herschel. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed? Before the car accident, I was getting out of out Atlanta. Of Atlanta the it's news true. says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about on the road. Who are you with? The girl. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Tell the truth. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. Mm. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem he still Clementine. says daughter, even though I said I'm a neighbor. Imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, Interesting. looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think mm. anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. There we go. Chased by a couple of dead people. I'm trying to be quick in I'll the decisions. do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. 
There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. There are some differences between the choices because I can't exactly remember what I did. I uh, so right, just then. bear with me on that note. But hopefully it'll still turn out it well. Smells like manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? <laughs> Just like that. Plops. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. Poor lassie. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Okay. He's an awesome character as well. I love you, baby. <laughs> Aw, we had a nightmare. Just crawl in bed with mommy and daddy and it'll be okay. Hey, get up. My name's Canny mm. and I'm a hillbilly. What an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's Fuck off, Doc. Nifty likes you. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Where do parents name their kids <laughs> Duck? We're from Fort Lauderdale. We were on our way back before things up and went bananas. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Oh, I can. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, that's duck, just this disgusting. Is and, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things name. can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Fuck off, duck. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Fuck off, duck. Duck and I will hop to it. I sense I've pissed someone off by telling Duck to fuck off, but I we all know we all agree. Little girl here on the porch. We can visit. I honestly can't remember her name anymore. Alright, let's talk to uh, the big man, Mr. Horseman, Mustache, Freddie Mercury impersonator, Mr. Kenny here. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah. No, no kids. Would have liked one, then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I Mentally think. Mentally deficient. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... <laughs> Christ... Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See ya. Okay, sometimes when I quiet, I quiet down, it's pretty much because I'm engrossed in the story a bit, and I said this last time as well. I think catch and Clem. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. 
So, you good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except mm, more with Herschel. dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. I honestly can't That's remember what I was. Well, <laughs> I hear people all the time back to say. college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. So that's the other thing I like about uh, zombie films and that is you get to sort of see how human behaviour changes with the fact that there's no police around and whatnot. And for the the better part it's it's quite disgraceful. Uh, the fact that the majority of uh, humans like in the Book of Eli where the motorbike gang starts raping the lassie, kills the guy and then rapes the lassie. And then doing, walk Doug? dead, they'll kill each other for a bullet. They'd waste a bullet for a bullet sort of thing. Lift with your back, Sean. I fucking hate him. I fucking hate him. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey Lee. It's very interesting anyway. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Right, me probes. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. No oh, shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. I mean, that's disgraceful like as that. well. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I bashed a poor girl's brains in. Whoa. Uh, I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this no, forgets it. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Nay props, Han. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Oh, yippee. More Herschel interrogation. We all know that just keeps a spark of fire in our bellies. That was really cheesy, but fuck it, who gives a toss? Oh, God, this game looks so good. I mean, consider I'm on everything high and aliasing and all that when I couldn't do that before. And out there, Herschel. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. 
Just be this honest. Farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. Taking you a drink. Agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. It's kind of annoying with the, <laughs> the time it takes. Can Could I be give quick. You a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Oh, fuck's sake, Doc. Go! I'll get my gun! I'm sorry, but I've got to get well with, uh, with Kenny. My leg is stuck. Sorry, sorry, Sean. I prefer you to duck, but I have to help him. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> pawned. Not a deck, Kenny. Sorry, Sean. God, I feel sorry for the guy. Not a pretty way to go. That's a very nice got kids, man. I'm sorry. Sorry. Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now, please, just go. Although, the other way is, no matter what, Duck gets saved, Sean dies, and Kenny hates me. I made my choice because got that ride to make it if you want. that's the choice I made last time. Go help the wee guy. But I still kinda wanna kick him in the teeth. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Yep, the drugstore. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks running Why out of gas. Why would you say that anyway? Fuck! Fuck! We're in trouble! Uh oh, we're in trouble. Something's going along in this burst our bubble.
Yes, Gwen. If you if you didn't know, in the series, Gwen is played by the actor who played Short Round in Indiana Jones. There you go. Your mind has been blown. We can't take risks like this, and we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things out there. Trying to get comfy. Care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this I fucking now. hate Lonnie. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bit shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. I it's... Lily, I'll handle it. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Damn it. Nobody threatens my boy. Son of a Everyone bitch. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Sit down. Well, that's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and one homo parade. <laughs> this one. <laughs> that's good. Ruffle. Little boy. Before it's you good, eat right? your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. <laughs> Trying to hide his past. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! such a twat. No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! <laughs> you better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <laughs> I went with the other one, Kenny, punch him or something like that last time. Jesus! Jesus! Ah, my gummy leg! Clementine! Get the fuck out, bitch! Ah, oh, great, my favourite thing in the world. Pwned. And on the way down, we be sucky sucky. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Get a prick. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, 
Die, ya bastard! Kick the bastard! I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? <laughs> it's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there, behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Go We're feeling in the back of the knee now. I can't get comfort. Be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here. Out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're insane. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Doug. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those Oh, pills. she didn't like that. Okay. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. We know this already, Anne. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> Perfect yeah, timing. He doesn't mean it. It's just well. that. Yeah. We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell. Well, it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, Lassie. She's lucky to have you. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Aww, Are you okay? We... Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and oh. turning them into more... more of them. Coming up to Jesus. the uh, 50 minute mark now. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Get this done, and then I'm going to go to bed. 
And so this is gonna go for me. I just thought I can record something to take up the time, and uh, I think I did something well. We can't let any. Hey Lee, you really gave that old man hell. Yeah, we got pushed, you know. You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. You would have got laid flat. I was stuck to it. He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How is she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's How right. did the know it was Not days? Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweet. She was sad. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but, yeah, they're dead. Are you guys all right? And then just oh, instant just change of pace. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad it's not your fault, actually, can it? Just say choice to kill John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Console PS4. Ha, see what I did there. Said console, I said console. Uh -huh. It was funny, god damn it. Okay, can I leave them? No, he's, I'm gonna keep just need to get back that. To it's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Fucking better. We prick. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle God, that feeling in the back well. of my knee. Really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Just yeah. stretch Can you believe it? Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of <laughs> way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. This is Here, need Bartley's hand. Spoilers. I already know everything about this though, so. I suppose not really spoilers. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. Dumb bitch. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Well then. Next one goes to Clem. I'll go talk to Doug first though. Doug the pug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. 
Uh, not right now. All right. Let me know if you want to. God, I'm really fucking tired. That's all I'm gonna complain about. So episode is fucking how tired I am. Hey there. I'm at Hi. back of my knee as well. As well. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yes, yeah, it is. I, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Well then. Yep. We'll sit that seems like a really awkward fucking okay. conversation between the two of them there. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. You just enjoy it. You enjoy that boost bar. And you know what? I'm gonna give you the other one to her. Just to get in her good it's books. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Now then. Battery, battery, I'm looking for a battery. Oh, another gen, another energy bar. Batteries. It's all I fucking want is batteries, goddammit. I can't remember where they are either. There's one. Thought the other one was on the opposite side of the store, but try to get some rest, hun. How can I with those things out there? And who will I give the other energy bar to? Ah, there it is. I was right, it's on the other. I just never went to the fucking floor. Give the last one to her, I guess. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. Like a, a plan. Caretaker. Thanks. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Hm. Should be able to get it to work now. I know, just hand them both at the same time, goddammit. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. I just gave her the batteries, goddammit. How dumb is she? It says right there, plus, minus, plus, minus, but no. Stupid bitch. First, you can't tell. We'll just slide in those Duracell batteries. Product placement. There you go. You fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact How we with doing? individuals Good. you suspect may Want to go have exposed. a look around outside? The station is okay. In the event of a Let's have a look around. Uh, okay. My, my oh yeah. Jesus. Jesus. Got to fucking quote Ray William Johnson, got that. Ray William Johnson. And yeah, English language is failing on me a lot in the last month or so. No. Oh. Yeah, I was thinking I'm hungry. As far as I can tell, that's all I care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. Well. I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Okay, can't get the brick yet. Just talk to him. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. And they weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? They 
now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. Right. I want to talk to him about other things. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He just tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. Mm. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. It was my mommy and daddy. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him than us, huh? No, it was his brother. How the fuck he could see oh, up from shit. over there, though? But okay. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of. He has a familiar face. Ah, oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. I, I start rotting and get all chewed up and. Shut up, dog. A oh, prick. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Right, um, Let's head back inside. I need to get a photograph. I forgot about that. Photograph. Fuck the green card, right? Let's go into the office, I guess. I don't remember them very well. I don't even remember your parents, you wee twat. Loading screens. Office door. Sorry about the banging in the background, even though it's really I fucking quiet. I can't think about them in here. That feeling in my knee, it's really fucking bothering me now. There's a photo. We should get a choice to do that or not. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Oh my god, that feeling in my knee. You seem like an okay guy. And the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Leave ones in your pants, then. Right then. Oh, well, don't forget that. There you go. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Yeah, you both in. 
Foreshadowing. More foreshadowing. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Yes, they are. Hent, hent, I'm a daddy's boy. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Who could say no to Here that face? Watch your fingers in the drawers. Even though you've got the drawers sent you, eh? Hey. So many I flaws that I like pointing out right now. Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, yawning, god damn it. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Yeah, that's enough. Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. <laughs> I'm not crazy about it either. Not am I. I'm not. Right, a little further. I don't like any sports. <sighs> Luico soccer football. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated. That's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? I have. Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been. A commentary better. feels better today than what yeah. was last recording session that I did. Um, I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. So that's good, but it's, I'm really fucking tired, score. and there's not much Let's talking in it because me, okay? of all the okay. conversations. Because of the trouble. Yeah, Save me talking over things. Let's get this done. And I meant to tell her the truth, but I uh, fucked up. Oh, she got the boo boo. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I give me steps back. Is it bleeding? I'll find you a bandage. In that first aid kit over here. Foreshadowing complete. Right, anyway. This drawer here. And then I'll get the hard finger. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Gimme. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. <laughs> Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. And it better have some sort of like my little pony reference. No? Well then. So they're good. They have to have little pictures on them for Lee? kids. Yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie Girl, talkie in case up. they try that way. Stay close to me until then. Okay. How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? <laughs> well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. 
Right now, let's see if we can get in the door, which we can. The keys are on that zombie out on the street. Oh my god, Walking Dead actually said zombie. That's what I figured. Never did that in the last time I played this game. Okay, then out we go. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was Just being he honest. bad? He was. Just ignore it now. Just ignore the little lassie. Okay, Dougie. Oi, Dougie, go over here. Still How are we doing? got my mouse Good. a bit of 4983 beats ago and I'm still trying outside. to get used to it. Let's have a look around. Okay. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. Mm -hmm. You're a strange guy, Doug. I know. Everybody, every nerd knows this. Think you can do anything with this? Mate, what? Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Doug. I know. So this, yeah, there we go. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. TV remote. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much Damn to do it. with it now. Man, I miss my robots. I know I need the You're axe. Strange guy, Doug. I know. I can't reach that brick. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, Let's back inside. inside. Okay. Let's see if uh, I can remember how to get to the other part. The RV park. Motel, that's a word. I got it. I can't remember who instigates hey this. There. Ah, there we go. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. Oh. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. In a fucking dumpster. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. That mustache. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Well then. Just talk to Carly straight away and then. Let's get it on. Bum, bum. 
pay, Connor. Yep. Ah, uh, you know I always that ask if she's on it. Didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Pessimism. Activate. Hey there. Right. Ready to head out. You ready to head out? You got it. You? To the last yeah. part of this game. Let's go. Well, this episode, I mean, there's four more to go, and I'll do them probably daily for me, recording wise. I mean, don't know how often they're going to be uploaded, though. Get down. I'll try my best. Did you see that? I sure did. Why would you do that in case there's a Be walker near you. there? Guys! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room. I've got some I gas for you. I just farted. It. <laughs> ah. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. I love this part. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Alrighty then. If I can remember right, okay, so the axe is the main objective. You need the spark plug from that car. No, it's from a car. Okay, this is the plan. I don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. I know the gist so of what I have to do here, so let's just hope. In here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Get pillow for the silent kill. Good luck smothering them to death. Spoilers. It's not really what I have in mind. Thought playing that out already, but oh well. Shit, 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 shit. I can't remember where you get the spark plug. It's from this car, yeah. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Ah, oh, good night, Pop. That was sick. Don't understand why there's like some bad textures. I do have it on the highest. Bouncing mouse. Righty ho. I want out of the car. Oh, I forgot about that bit. It's a sparky thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. I don't think a car would roll that much. That was awesome. <laughs> right then, let's break the windscreen. Oh, balls. Wrong thing. Oh. Raffle. Alright, dude. Let's 
I'm trying to get out of the habit of saying Ruffle instead of actually just laughing. You picked up that spark plug to shatter that window, right? What the hell are you talking about? Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. That could scramble a brain pretty good. Just yes. trying to remember Something what, what order I do this in. Just walk over there because there's that zombie there. And there's a zombie pinned by the car, but I'm sure there was another one. Until the right time. And Hadouken. Well, that was stupid. Right in the fucking eyeball. It's proper fucking splinter cell shite right there. Hey, look. That's handy. Ha ha ha. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> <laughs> Ruffle. Holy shit. It's Damn cool. it. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Let me ask you a question. Two more. That should help. Told you bad puns. Can't help myself. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. I have to do this very carefully. Here, Mizir, I'd like to ask you a question. I don't know why I said I'm trying to do it on Ask you a question. Oh, 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 there we go. Fuck yeah. Somebody request for a splitting headache. Little off the top. Rad. That's obviously done from the outside. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. God, they're so stupid, but well. Here's Johnny. Not in the, the, the proper way, but... It still works. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you. I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was I'm bitten. bitten. You can't get stop sick it. and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? <laughs> I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Okay. We'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? Yeah. What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me? Stupid cow. I can just, you know, end this and then... It's not very Christian no either, Han. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're... They're... Satanic. We 
can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Yes. Back up! Please! Yup. Whoa! <laughs> Ouch. I like how his legs are all better now. Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Yeah. That's sick. Jesus. See, she's Christian. I said, never, never mind. <laughs> let's get out of here. All right, let's get back to the pharmacy. Shit! Here they come! Get in! <laughs> Pizza delivery. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Which lucky for me, I can remember how. So, well, let's go talk to Doug. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Awesome. Now to distract those things carefully. Think you can do it? I think like that's this? that's the order. Yeah, I used to fiddle around. Yes, with stuff it's like that the brick. Kid, there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Doug. I know. I can't reach that brick. Hell of a throwing arm he's got there. Vandalism. Nice. <laughs> I got it. So idea. simple minded. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? Oh, What's I that? know he knows. Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? I, of course, it's a fucking video game. I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. What can't you do nowadays with magical technology well and a fucking done, done. superhuman all brain? Dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Then even if he did memorize other codes, I'm sure new technology since he was in AV Club or whatever the fuck it is, uh, surely the new technology would have different codes. And even then, how would he know the make of the TVs? Anyway, I'll stop poking holes in it. Move out the way, bitch! Move out the way! Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Run, Forest! Run! Would you be bothered if you seen your brother or your sister like that, as is a Bombay? I know what happened to Mom and 
trap to I know if you were there. trying to nom 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 you on your face. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a Shut the fuck up, you moron. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you were to take care of them. I mean, you just do one of like the, the tempo tempo oh. like straight down giving him a splitting headache instead of a little off the top there you go Show on compassion, David, for fuck's sake, it's his brother. Mm. Fuck the police. God. There we go. Holy crap! Run! Run! Where's the axe? Didn't notice some card in it there. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Oh yeah. Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. Brilliant. Just break. Oh, there's a screwdriver. Talk about penetration. I've got a stabbing pain in my shoulder. That's about all the puns I could come up with. Talk about screwed. There you go. I can't think of any more puns. I think I'm all out. For now at least. Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad. Should I even put gas in it yet? Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. All right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Glad we need your help. Leave hurry. Uh, hey Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this. Oh god, who am I gonna save? I should know what? That I should know. Shit. On it. Are you sure? Shit. Oh shit. Okay. Very so Carly. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Didn't quite click on the circle. Did you find anything? Nothing. Oh, wait. The window is screwed. Go. Oh no, she is the wrong button. I found something. There we go. Alright, another one of these. 
I'm saving Carly. Sorry, Doug, I like you and all, but I've just always gone for Carly. Reminds me of Sean is dead. When David gets ripped out and then ripped to pieces. Oh my god. Let's go! They got Doug. They. They. You got me! Stop in a twat. No! Larry, go damn it! I will kill you. Thank you. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Thanks, Kenner. Especially a good friend. You fucking legend. Bye bye. I'll feed her in. Guten Tag. Here we go. Luckily I could just stop it because everyone knows what happens in episode 2. Hell, I'm not exactly expecting much views from these. If I don't from any of my videos, I'm just doing it for fun. So yeah. Episode 1. I can't even remember what it's called either. A new day, I think. Preacher delivery. Oh, fuck off, duck. Oh, yeah, I forgot to talk to people. Son of a bitch. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Yes, Gwen, you gotta go there to meet Merle and all the bunch. Then eventually Rick. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup, and I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. Oh my god, he can yammer on about fucking nothing. Fuck's sake, Doc. Fuck off. I can't wait until episode 3, you wee prick. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier, I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Yes, Kenny. I like you now. Till episode three, then you're a prick. How you doing, girl? And she knows his back again. I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. 
I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you, too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. I like how he just keeps repeating himself right about now. It's just like, and Derek had a mega, a, an underwater mega laser, and it was so cool. Claims just they're not even given a toss. The Demotron had this mini gun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. Clementine. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Oh, that prick. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Episode or, uh, two, Marty. One will know that you, Lee Everett, are Episode a two. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee. An underwater mega laser. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. And what a magnum. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Just keeps repeating himself, spinning the arms. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Foreshadowing. Yeah, right. You know, guys, I think it's going right then, guys, to be that's been episode one of The Walking Dead. I will finish this series and start the next series next month. Goodbye.